Greetings everyone. I was asked to do a review of the Royka 76 main gun rounds performance against a T72. I'm using T72A as a test bed. We will be looking at the exterior armor, the internal uh, layout, and the after we will be doing the test. A uh, quick look at the armor, the frontal glaces at uh, this angle offers 150 millimeters of protection. The lower glaze is 136. And there's this self-entrenching tool here at the bottom, which offers an additional 42 millimeters. The turret offers 486 millimeters upwards, uh, depending on the angle. And the further out you go from the barrel to the cheeks, the effective armor thickness becomes more because you will be shooting through more armor. Right, moving to the sides. The, let's remove the exterior armor panels. The rolled homogeneous armor of the crew compartment offers 80 millimeters in the upper half. The lower half is only 20 millimeters. Uh, the engine compartment protection is 70 millimeters. Sides of the turret is still substantial um, in the frontal uh, section yeah, the further you go aft the least the protection becomes uh, so dead center it offers 242 millimeters plus minus moving towards the rear of the vehicle the rear of the engine compartment offers effectively around 47 millimeters um, but the thickness itself is 40 millimeters uh, the sides are the same. Um, the rear of the turret offers 76 millimeters, 75 plus minus depending on the angle. Right, let's add the side skirts. Side skirts are roughly the 40, uh, I beg your pardon, 8 millimeters thick. Um, but it's it's not substantial to make any any difference in a prote in protection. Um, these are designed to counter a heat round um, that makes contact with the side of the hull, so they prematurely detonate. Right, let's have a look at the interior layout. We're going to start with the, the, the composite armor profile. The frontal glaces consist of a frontal layer of 60 millimeters. Then a, there is a to light center which is a type of glass if I recall correctly that uh, absorbs heat round uh, explosion uh, or the the jet from a heat round and then to the rear um, you have another 18 millimeters a, a bigger part and 50 millimeters of composite rolled homogeneous armor when looking at the turret profile It varies from 75 millimeters to 140 millimeters of composite armor, which forms the frontal uh, section of the uh, of the uh, composite armor. Then you have a quartz core of 115 millimeters, and lastly, a another 200 to 280 millimeters of cast homogeneous armor. Looking at the interior of the vehicle, you have fuel tanks to the left and right of the driver. The driver is seated in the center of the vehicle. To the rear of the vehicle, between the crew compartment and the engine, you have another fuel tank. The gunner sits to the left of the turret and the commander on the right. Of course, the vehicle has a three-man crew. Uh, the engine is traditionally seated at the rear of the vehicle as uh, followed by the transmission and the radiator um, as you might know and this is uh, this uh, feature of the T tanks Soviet tank design the ammunition and charges are located at the bottom of the turret itself and that is why when these tanks explode or are ammo racked, you will often find the turrets uh, some way off 
um, after they have exploded. Okay, so let's have a look at the Raycat's performance against the T72. Um, for the purpose of this uh, video, we're looking at a thousand meters engagement range. Um, just a quick look at the uh, Raycat's main round armor piercing fin stabilized discarping sabot, or as it's called, the fin round. It's a 76 millimeter round, um, it has a velocity of around 1000. 600 meters a second um, at point blank range uh, which is 10 meters at a zero degree angle the round has a penetration performance of around 311 millimeters um, and as the range increases at a, at one kilometer it is 291 millimeters and at two kilometers it is 271 millimeters now of course um, the steeper the angle that it uh, makes contact with, the lesser the performance of the round. If you, for example, look at point blank range, hitting a 60 degree angled armor target, the round only provides 180 millimeters of penetration. Okay, let's have a look at the test. All right, um, I'm gonna start with the right hand side of the hole. As you can see, there is no penetration. Moving to the center of the hole, the lower frontal glacis overall offers no uh, benefit for penetration. The only weak spot for a Raycat to engage a T72 frontally is literally in this small V-shaped window. So this is approximately, this is where the driver sits. So a round fired at a kilometer theoretically would penetrate the vehicle but it would only kill the driver leaving the commander and gunner to continue firing same goes for the left hand side of the lower uh, of the upper glazes no penetration looking at the turret uh, starting at the exterior there is also no penetration on the right hand side similarly on the left hand side of the turret there is no possibility for penetration. So frontally, your only bet is to shoot the driver, but you need to ask yourself the question, do you want to phase? Okay, now we have a better performance uh, impact there. Let's have a look. So if you engage it at a, f a, a angle from the sides and you can manage to hit the driver's port, at that small V-shaped area, you have a better chance of killing the crew in the turret and possibly disabling the turret ring which reminds me if you can manage to shoot in between the hole and the turret as um, i believe the the standard practice is uh, in all sa old sadf doctrine you have an you have a chance of penetrating and either killing the commander uh, or the or the gunner depending on which side you shoot and possibly then disabling the turret ring from the sides shooting the the turret only uh, you only have a chance of penetration if you shoot towards the rear of the turret that could possibly disable the the the, the gun's breach um, and depending on where you shoot you can also kill the commander and the gunner. Uh, the hole itself can be penetrated from the sides because of the lack of armor and you can most probably take out the commander and the gunner as well. Let's see if we can possibly get an ammo rack. No penetration there. Let's see here. Don't penetrate try there so it is possible to hit the ammunition if you if you shoot between the the road wheels with a possible secondary explosion that will destroy the vehicle moving towards the rear of the vehicle shooting the turret rear you will have penetration uh, shooting the engine compartment you will have penetration and it will go right through uh, stopping at the frontal glazes 
All right, so that concludes the video on the Roycut's performance against the AT72 tank. I can understand why a Roycut would need to engage this vehicle from the sides or from the rear. If you have any questions or comments you're more than welcome to leave them in the the post or on the youtube video thank you very much